amazing. Like it's, um, I mean, none of us really expected it. And that's the thing about the, the, the making of the project. It was very much like, kind of like true to the story that we sort of just took it one step at a time. So we didn't really have a sense of what it would be afterwards. We felt like we were making something special, but you never know how that's how it's going to be received. So. I don't know, we've just been taking that as it comes as well, you know, not trying not to get too caught up in it, but still enjoying the moment because it's a special rarity, you know, when it, when it happens like that. Yeah, and you were mentioning about the kind of the docks um, in Govan that you worked on and that yeah. beautiful, incredible set. Yeah. Um, how, what was it like working with that and how did that kind of impact your performance in that role, the set there that was... Well, the sets like the Dennis Gastner that designed and, uh, and all the art department made were like truly incredible and I guess that set particularly, and all sets like the trenches, the thing that they allow you to do is just, they do so much of the work for you, not just putting you in that environment for other people to see you in that environment, but you yourself, you just have to walk down it. Like that bridge, like, you know, all those, you have no option but to go up the way that he went because it's all kind of falling apart. And that, I don't know, so they just make the world very real and very three dimensional. So you don't have to work hard at kind of like imagining that or focus on blocking stuff out. Um, so it's, yeah, that, that, I think that's the main thing that those kind of sets are doing. Brilliant. And tonight's showing off the history of the Kelly Gang. Yeah. I just wonder, what are you hoping for audiences to take away from it or learn from a film like that? I think, I don't know, like, what I want them to take away from it. Firstly, I hope people come and see it, because genuinely, like, it's not, in all honesty, it's like it's not an easy sell. It's quite a brutal film. Like, I think Justin's work is very brutal, like Snowtown, Macbeth. Um, and this is very much in that vein. But truly, not just saying it, I think it's unlike a film I've seen before. When I watch the final piece, I don't think, I've never seen anything else like it. It's beautiful and it's strange. And it's kind of, it's, he made so many compromises in the making of it not to compromise the final piece. And I think that's something really to be said because I think a lot of the time films that kind of, you know, it's, it's an industry. And so people sometimes have to paint by numbers a wee bit to kind of get bums on seats. And he hasn't done that at all. So I just hope that people see it so they can take from it what they will. Hey, George, this is uh, Vivian from uh, Popcorn Hub. Hey, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Thank you. Are you used to this freezing cold weather? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting chilly in England as well now. So, yeah, not too bad. Well, you're looking very smart and very handsome, so there we go. Anyway, on to the question. Tell us a little bit about the character of Ned Kelly. Well, this is a, this is a different take on Ned, in the sense that the reason that his story's kind of been made, I guess, is because in Australia, at least, everyone, the name Ned Kelly and the sort of symbol of him and his armour, that's all people, in a way, it's known everywhere and it's been appropriated to mean different things. But in a sense, because of that, they've kind of let go of exploring who that person really was and why, as a country, they have decided to appropriate that figure to, to be their emblem kind of thing. So this is just taking a detailed look as to what is this person when he's presently alive, you know, when he's still tangible, who was he? And that's kind of, we've sort of made that up for grabs. And I think this character is just someone who's presently wrestling with the scars of his past to try and you know, cut his own path in the future. That's really interesting. Your dad is Australian, isn't he? Yes. So what, you know, how does he feel about you playing this amazing figure? I think he was chuffed. I think he was chuffed. I think for anyone in Australia, I think quite a few people might be, you know, you either be thrilled or offended with this version of Ned as well, because there's been some things which have been taken from true happenings and other things which we've lent on heavily, which weren't true, which I think people who hold dear the, um, you know, the, the, the legend as is kind of understood, you know, might, might not be so keen on. So I think, I think he's, I, but, but my dad's a pretty open guy. So I think he's, uh, I think he'll embrace that. And what do you make of the character yourself? I think he's wonderfully complex. I think, I think, I think the, the older I get, I think life is a lot of things all at once. And I think this man is a lot of things all at once. Um, and because as we all are, I think people, humans are so complex, but, I think complex in a very intricate way, where this is both intricately complex, but the extremes of his situations, the extremes of his brutality, the extremes of his love, the extremes of his tenderness, the extremes of his ambition, his intellect, his violence, they're all like pretty far on the spectrum. And so I think that makes him a kind of human on steroids kind of thing. Not, not literally, but like a human turned up to the max, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. So during the shoot, were there any particular points that stood out for you? Oh, so many, so many. The, particularly um, the last, the well, 
it's kind of towards the end of the film, but it's a sequence at Glen, what is the Glen Rowan siege, I guess, where um, they take over a pub and they've got all these hostages and then they're met by a lot of cops coming at them. And it's a sort of famous, in the, the folklore kind of, of, of the Kelly gang, The Last Stand, but Justin has made it into, turned it into this sort of psychedelic nightmare. Um, and, the, and the doing of that was a lot of things all at once. Again, so that, that will always be in my heart and my memory. That's absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. One little thing, would it be possible to get a selfie with you? Yeah, of course. Would that be all right? Yeah. Oh, you're so cheesy. No, no, so if you right. just do this and then we'll let you move on. I did um, Craig's first fashion show with him years ago. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because I know I certainly did. If you liked what you saw, please click up here to subscribe to our channel or have a look at our playlist. I'm Vivian Taylor and I'm signing out to 